Hello humans, I hope you're doing perfectly well. Uh, welcome to a new episode of Psicoactivo. I want to thank everybody who has been supporting the channel with comments, uh, with sharing, with um, likes, a everything helps, you know. And recently, just a little less than a week ago, I left an all my links channel. Uh, I left an all my links link on the description, and there's another one on my Twitter account, Pavel Ibarrameda. That has a PayPal account where you can support me there if you want. I just uh, activated the super chats here, and I was just accepted to the YouTube uh, creators uh, program. So I'm gonna start monetizing the 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 show effective immediately so thank you guys for all the support this is the only way that i can continue to do this i keep growing and the faster i get to a point where i can be an independent i will fully commit to this on a full-time basis currently i can't do that really because i depend on a salary from my day job and I continue to work there right now because um, I'm just growing this channel. And what I'm doing with Christian is also uh, something different and that it's still growing too. But thank you guys for all the support, really. It really means the world to me. Yesterday's video was very uh, well received by everybody. So thank you guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. It was something that really inspired me so i hope you guys i hope i could show that on the video today uh i found something that ties into an old uh program that existed in the 60s and 70s i don't know how many of you have heard of the mk ultra program you obviously clicked on it because it's on the title but there's a very interesting development of this program. There's a, a podcaster who has um, a lot of followers who I've been following for a while now. And he got, he's got some scoops. He talks about stuff before it happens, which I find extremely interesting. He is Game Tech Politics. He's at, at GTP underscore podcast on X. He breaks a lot of stories uh, related to politics, to the UFO phenomenon, and a lot of other stuff, right? So he made a claim that is new to me. I had absolutely no idea that this was um, happening. He claims to have been in the military. And I'm just going to read you what he's saying because it's shocking. It truly is. Here goes. Game Tech Politics says, In 1999, I volunteered to be put under the MK Ultra program after basic training at Fort Benning. So there he's already given you a specific location. I had a choice, but I had no choice to back out. I attempted to back out after two sessions. I learned a lot from those two sessions. They wanted me to work locally to kidnap, traffic, and coerce individuals in my hometown to be put under this program. They programmed me to be analytical and to see things before they happen. That programming never left me. Once I refused orders, they changed my entire life. I will tell the entirety of my story soon. Please be patient and understanding. I love my country, but I don't love what they have done to me and many other soldiers. They target churches, counseling centers, and colleges. The operation has never ended. Since 2001, what? They began targeting schools. I'm not suggesting they haven't before then. I'm just saying I'm aware of it. I obeyed and stayed under the program since 2003. Then I woke up to what we were really doing. That's when the course changed. I became the assignment. 
There were times I had to go places and cut off contact with my family. Separation is the key to the program. And if you guys weren't aware, this person, Game Tech Politic, is, is talking about the MK Ultra program. I trained as a handler in college, a Christian college. I can only hope the guy can forgive me. That's all I'm going to post for today. He's talking about MK Ultra, guys. And I think this is extremely consequential. I don't mean to worry or scare anyone. I am fully aware of the nonsense, nonsense some people say on X. With that being said, pray for me and my family. I'm not safe. I'm stating this publicly. So if anything happens to you, you all make sure my kids are blessed. I appreciate you all. More than you know, the truth will be told with or without me. This is very interesting because I thought that the MK Ultra program was closed when it was um, uncovered uh, back in the 70s because they were doing some practices, mall practices that are very dangerous to the human psyche. They were using uh, experimental uh, substances. Uh, they were using LSD on people. They used it because they realized that people under the influence of psychedelics were more susceptible to essentially mind control. This program was, was not supposed to exist anymore. And this person is saying it does. Or at least it did in the early 2000s. That's... 30 years after it was supposed to be closed. So what's going on here? And to people who don't know uh, about this MK Ultra program, I'm going to show you a clip about Charles Manson, who is notorious uh, for having the, the family, the Manson family. Uh, during the 60s, late 60s, there was this horrible occurrence, the Tate LaBianca murders in Hollywood. Charles Manson, the infamous cult leader, was actually a product of a government experiment. The CIA ran a covert operation in the 1950s and 60s called MKUltra. This was no ordinary operation. They were administering LSD and other drugs to unwitting subjects, all in the hopes of developing mind control techniques. Now here's where it gets interesting. Some believe that Manson, who later became known for his manipulative control over his cult, the family, was exposed to LSD as part of this program. They argue that this exposure could have contributed to his transformation into the notorious figure we know today. It's important to note that Manson did use LSD within his cult. These substances played a significant role in the group's dynamics and the indoctrination of its members. But was this a result of a government experiment? The truth is, there's currently no concrete evidence to support this theory. It's a chilling thought. And it adds another layer of intrigue to the already complex and disturbing story of Charles Manson. It was later discovered that Charles Manson was the mastermind behind these horrible, horrible murders. This community he created, it was later also discovered that it was part of the MK Ultra program. And I have some information that I want to share with you that I don't know if it's been shared before, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it still. I've been talking about Carlos Castaneda for a while now in my podcast. And he was one of the biggest names in the counterculture movement during the 60s and 70s. This guy reached a level of control of his reality. The intelligence community was very aware of what he did and who he was. And I've been talking to a person who knew Castaneda. I cannot reveal his, his uh, identity. I don't know if I ever will be able to because he's very well known. Uh, he's an author who knew Casaneda. And he believes, I'm not saying he proved, he has proof of this, but I have to talk about this because uh, this just came out. It's new information and I think it's fascinating. Uh, I'm trying to get Game Tech Politics on my podcast. I hope he accepts the invitation because I think it's very important to talk about this stuff. When Dr. Greenberg uh, went to the U.S. 
after he returned from doing his PhD in New York, he met uh, Carlos Casaneda. He, Casaneda went to visit him at UNAM. They met there. They they uh, spent time together. They uh, went to dinner and stuff. You know, they they uh, struck a kind of a relationship. I don't know if I can call it a friendship because Dr. Greenberg eventually realized that he had a an entirely different path compared to Castaneda. I have no idea if Dr. Greenberg realized that uh, Carlos Castaneda was in some ways uh, cozy with the intelligence community, especially the CIA. And this person that I've been talking to tells me that Carlos Castaneda was part of the agency. He had a handler and he managed to uh, capture the imagination of millions with his books. And I don't know the extent of his involvement. As I'm telling you, this is only a claim uh, that was made that Casaneda was part. I don't know if it was part of MK Ultra, but I know if you guys read his books, He had deep knowledge of shamanistic traditions and he understood uh, psychedelic substances on a far deeper level than uh, pretty much everyone at the time, you know. And I think that the the agencies in the government saw uh, great use uh, on his knowledge. And that's the reason this person that I've been talking to tells me that Uh, they eventually made him part of the the agency and potentially MK Ultra too. But the fact that they're talking about uh, that game tech po the game tech politics is talking about many soldiers being used for this program in the early 2000s. This tells me that the program may have never ended. Who knows what else they have been uh, tampering with? since the program allegedly closed this this is very interesting i want to hear your thoughts tell me what you think about it and i'm telling you uh i've been told that there's a, a possibility a strong possibility that carlos castaneda was also part of this uh mind control in mass program so Uh, without further ado, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.